Hello, I'm Hannah Millman, Executive Editorial Director of Crafts at Martha Stewart Living Omnimedia. You're listening to the Editor's Hour here on Sirius XM Stars, and we are so honored to have Judith Espinar and Keith Recker. Judith is the co-founder of the International Market, which started 11 years ago. She actually lives in Santa Fe. Keith Recker has worked at Gump, Sachs. What do you consider folk art? It's work that is the voices of culture through history. Is, is, it's what it brings to the world today. Like we lose 30 cultures every year. If we lose folk art, we lose thousands of cultures. So you guys have, you started this festival, which now is renowned around the world, and you've done this for 11 years, so, and and Keith, you're involved with it. Maybe give a little bit of who all the different artists are and, you know, how the vetting process. There are applications that come into the market from all over the world, and they're reviewed by a team of museum experts, folk art experts. So So it's like a living museum that you can actually walk, meet the artists, the company, the people in it, and actually buy anything you want. So what are some of your things that you want to highlight for us. We have the Picasso of Haitian oh, voodoo it's... beading. His name is Jean-Baptiste Jean-Joseph. Yeah, I mean, renowned. Oh, I he's mean, amazing. amazing. And he, his mission in life is to show you in physical form what his spiritual experience is like. Yes. So he is recording his dreams and visions and putting them in these sparkly, colorful beads and sequins. They're precious. They're so overwhelmingly magical. beautiful and magical. And you know, for people to know, I mean, this takes hours and hours of work, and it can go for hundreds of thousands of dollars, his work. And he gets those prices at the fair, and that's amazing. Brings it back and supports an entire village. And we're saying a village... It's a village. It's really a village. And I want to really live true. there because it was just all artisans and beads and beadwork. <laughs> but I am just in love with these. So can you explain what these are? These beautiful things that are sitting in front of me are made by a potter in Oaxaca. And this particular artist so beautiful. does the, mermaids The a scales lot. of the mermaid, the, <laughs> the, the, the terracotta has been pushed out and it's three-dimensional. The, and they're affordable, too. I mean, you, you have a price of they're going to be $32, $32 at, the at the market. This is a particularly rich year for Mexican ceramics at the market. So if you love ceramics, the quality is unsurpassed. Representing all the people at Martha Stewart um, who love crafts and that's a lot of us. Just so like want to thank you for all your work and your whole team's work because it's not really about you guys. You really make the artisan rise. It's about the artisan and the work they're doing the culture and and keeping that and I just think on behalf of everyone thank you so much for all your work that you're doing and I can't wait to go to the Santa Fe International Folk Market which is in July 11th, 12th and 13th. Thank you so much. Thank you for having us. Thank you for having us. It's very enjoyable. Oh, same. Thank you.